Okay. Uh, what I was what I was talking to some of the students was you can come right here, and I think I just mentioned that right before I went up. You can come right here, like to this little number two, and left click on there. Left click on that, and it brings up this box right here. So you can do a fixed line, which is what I was telling you about, which is you make a totally separate line now, and now you can indent. Because if you try to indent right here, where there's not any, uh, excuse me, where there's not any numbers, it's not going to do anything. Because it's not on any kind of line. It, it, it's not on any kind of line. Okay. So if you want to make it a totally different line, you know what? I need to make a uh, this a totally different paragraph. Okay. So you put your cursor right here, press period, and put a period over here to where you end it. Come over here and press shift F5 and it's going to be it's going to put you on a fixed line and it's going to be like that that's a fixed line where it has the f now you can do whatever you need to you need to move over tab over whatever okay that's how you do it Any questions about this? I showed you all last week about marking a spot. X marks a spot, remember? Mm -hmm. Shift X. And then you can do Alt G 99 and it'll take you to page 99. Well, you know what, I wanna go back. Now it's Shift V. will take you back to where you marked your spot. Remember that? Yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yes? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And that's what they're telling you right there. Okay, what they're telling you here is like on the menu bar, you can move to the menu bar and uh, and it'll bring up a little menu. So do Shift F10 and it brings up that little menu. You know, so if you want to global something, go to something, find something, paste block, read block, insert, you know, it'll, it'll give you all kinds of uh, miscellaneous stuff. Did that bring it up? Yes. Yeah. Shift F10. All right. Any questions about that? Any questions about the movements? No. No? All right. Go to lesson player. Oops and delete. How do you make it larger? Yes, sir. Control shift F7. Control shift F7. Write that down, Rhonda. <laughs> Forget that. Yeah. Control the shit. <laughs> okay, and we've gone over this already on the oops. Guys, this is gonna become your one of your second best friends. Not necessarily your BFF, but second. it's pretty good. Because you're gonna mess up on stuff, okay? And this Z is gonna make it all better. Instead of having to, you know, go in there and try to figure out what you did wrong. Okay? They're, they'll talk about it now. Let's see how the oops and delete keys work. The oops key can undo editing steps. The command is Control-Z or Hyper-Key 
C. For example, if I add a suffix to specific and I pick the wrong one, roll C or hyperkey C. For example, if I add a suffix to specific and I pick the wrong one, I could use the oops key to undo my mistake. You see what it just did? Okay. And we've all, you guys have used it already, right? Are y'all in the tutorial? Yes. Just get on a word. In hyperkeys, which is? Oopsie. How come the same person says it every time? I want somebody new to say it. Oopsie. I don't want you to hit me Thank ask you. again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get on a word. Oopsie. <laughs> Turn that thing off. <laughs>